I've challenged myself to build an entire online business using ChatGPT to sell products that I created using AI. From starting my store completely from scratch to running paid ads for my products, I'll walk you through the entire setup process. I was actually quite impressed with the results, so keep watching to see how everything went. First things first, I decided the best way to sell my products was going to be through Etsy. Etsy is a popular online marketplace for digital products like art prints and digital downloads, which are exactly the type of products that we're looking to sell. I knew that to create a successful Etsy store, I needed to give it a catchy and memorable store name. For this step, I used the help of ChatGPT to come up with some names for a store that sold physical and digital prints. It gave me a full list of potential store names and I settled on the name Print Design Central. Using Photoshop, I quickly created this simple logo to go along with my store name. If you don't have access to Photoshop, you can also use a free design website called Canva to create your store logo. So now that I had my logo and name for my store, it was time to create my first product listing. I decided to make a digital product listing first for the card I created in another video on my channel. Make sure to check out that video after this one if you want to learn how to make a product like this using the help of AI. For my first product image, I created a mockup of my product using a template that I downloaded from freemockup.com. I also added another image to the listing which explains that this product is meant to be downloaded and printed. For my product title, I simply looked at products similar to mine on Etsy to get some good keyword ideas. Next, I simply filled in the listing details about my product and made sure to select the category that is most relevant to my product. Since I'm selling a digital product, I'm going to select the digital product type. I took my time when writing my product description and made sure to include the key characteristics of my product. I even enlisted the help of ChatGPT to help me with parts of my description by asking it to write a wordy product description for a printable birthday card for a mother. For my product tags, I came up with some phrases that customers might use when looking for products like mine on Etsy. If you need some help coming up with keywords, you can try a tool called salesamurai.io which will give you added insight into high search volume keywords with low competition. I'll include a link in the description below. When you're done adding your tags, you can set your product price and quantity. I took a look at some similar digital products and decided to price my product at $5 and set the quantity to 99. We can set the quantity to 99 since it's a digital product and won't actually run out of stock since it's just a download that the customer receives. Then you can just add your digital product files and hit save and continue. Now just finish setting up your payment, billing, and security settings for your store. Now that I had my first digital listing, I wanted to create a listing for the physical product as well, as the more listings I have, the more exposure my store will get to potential customers. To do this, I decided to use a print-on-demand service called Printful, which will make and ship my product to customers anywhere in the world when they purchase it on Etsy. I'll leave a sign-up link to Printful in the description of this video. After creating my account, I went over to the product catalog and searched for a card that I could have my design printed on. Since my card is only one-sided, I went with the postcard option, which is offered at a good price. Then, I hit create product template and went about uploading my design. When I finished adding my design, I simply hit save product template to save the product to my account. Now that I had my product, it was time to connect my Etsy store. To do this, I hit add to store and then click the connect store button. Then I just hit choose platform, selected the Etsy option and connected my Etsy account to Printful. So now we're going to add our product to our store. I hit the add product button and began choosing a mockup for my product. Then, I simply filled in the product details, similar to how we did for the digital product earlier. For the pricing, I decided to set the price to $7.50 based on what my competition was selling for on Etsy. Then I hit the submit to store button. This will send the listing to your Etsy store drafts, where you can then click the publish button to officially list it on your store. Now when a customer goes to buy this product, Printful will do all the work and make and ship the product for me. With my product listings live on Etsy, I knew that I needed to promote them in order to drive some initial traffic and sales to my store. I decided to give Etsy ads a try, which would allow me to target potential customers who are searching for similar products on Etsy. I set my goal to drive short-term orders because my objective was to get my first couple of sales to my store so that I could gain positive product reviews and build my reputation. I decided to set the budget for my Etsy ad campaign to $25 a day, which hopefully would generate enough clicks and impressions to result in at least one sale. After a few days, I checked back in on my Etsy dashboard and was thrilled to see that I had made my first sale. A customer had purchased my mother's birthday card print, 
resulting in $12 of revenue from Printful. However, I had spent $29 on ads in total, which meant I had a negative return on investment. While my ad spend was higher than my revenue, I was still happy with the result as it was my first sale. I knew that once my Etsy store had a few orders and reviews, my listings would start to appear in Etsy searches a lot more, increasing the amount of sales I receive on average and improving my return on ad spend. If you guys want me to make another video to update you on my store, let me know in the comments below. I hope you guys enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.